In this video, we will try to cover what's the difference between chat completion API and response API. As you know, response API is the latest API published by OpenAI SDK and they are recommending it to build like any kind of application going onwards. But it doesn't mean chat completion API is going to go away. But if you are building any application now, then instead of using chat completion API, they are recommending to use a response API because it is coming with a lot of great features. So let's check the differences what we have between chat completion API and and response API. The first is statefulness. This particular API is, is stateless. Developer has to manage the history. Where is response API? There is an inbuilt mechanism to manage the history. So this particular API is stateful. Now, what about the built-in tools? Built-in tools were very limited. We were only calling the text vision and function calling. But in response API, it is coming with a lot of good built-in tools like web search, file search, computer use, etc. The complexity, it's very simple and good for quick responses. Response API is going to be more complex and this is specifically built for agentic workflows. Now use cases and we have used chat completion API earlier to build the basic chatbots single turn task. Whereas response API would be beneficial if you are trying to build any advanced agent or multi turn task. Latency because this is lightweight so it is going to be lower faster for simple queries. Considering like it has been built for multi agent workflow and it has been optimized for complex tasks. So latency would be higher. Token management manual truncation and context management which is happening in chat completion in response api automatic history and token management would occur future support so indefinite support for non-tool dependent models and as we have discussed earlier this is going to be future for open eyes so we will also try to cover few differences between these two using some code so first i will just go ahead with the very basic setup so this is how the chat completion api code would look like so the same code would look something like this in response API at the right side you can see this code has been rewritten using response API so instead of using this client chat completion dot create we would be using this client responses dot create that would be the first difference and then you can see instead of messages now we have to pass input under this we can still pass the role and the content but instead of messages it's going to be the input obviously same models are going to be supported in the response API also so we have to use that as well and at the last we are printing the response here you, you can see one difference instead of getting the output in the choices here we are going to get the output in the output array and then we can navigate it to content dot text to get an output otherwise this particular SDK also support one more option just to get the output so that we don't have to navigate to these arrays to get the output and for that we can just directly use output dot text let me just try to run this code and show you the output in both the cases and you can see whether I am trying to print the output using this or I'm just trying to print the output directly via output.txt the output is going to be same in both the cases also on top of that what about the structured output I can first open the chat completion one and then I can open the response API one so the first step in both cases to get a structured output would be to define our padentity class so in this case you can see we have defined one particular padentity class which is going to be story and it is going to have all this field title character story same thing we have defined over here so no changes till this point after that, if you have to get the structured output, then we have to call client chat completion dot parse. And here, if we have to get the structured output, then we have to call response dot parse. So that's first difference. Other difference would be again the messages and input. And the important difference in this case would be how we are passing this identity class our API. So in this case, we were using chat completion API was supporting response format where actually we have to pass our class. But in this case, it has been replaced with text format and under text format we have to pass our identity class so let me just go ahead and try to run this code and i'm just running the response api demo code and in this case you could see we are able to get the structured output so we do have a title we do have characters and then we do have story so that's the difference how we are going to get a structured output using chat completion api and the response api and one more thing what i want to cover in this particular video is how it is going to behave with the reasoning models so in this case also we do have some differences so in chat completion one when we are passing any kind of reasoning model then we have to use this reasoning effort whereas in the response api 
we have to pass reasoning effort like this so instead of reasoning effort it's just going to be the reasoning and in the curly braces we have to pass our effort in this case we are passing it directly but in this case it's coming under this curly braces when we are trying to use the reasoning model then we cannot navigate to the output using the response dot output array we can just utilize this response dot output text to get the output so let me just go ahead and run this code and now you could see we are able to get this output so these are the basic differences between these two api we would cover the advanced feature of response api in our following videos that's all what we have in this video thank you for watching